Happy November! Today I am super excited to share with you guys these amazing pumpkin cheesecake cream puffs. The cream is light and full of pumpkin flavor and the shoe is airy and soft and it's topped with a crisp and crunchy cracklin which is like when did we all decide that cracklin was the new standard? Because whenever I see a cream puff without cracklin I'm like this pastry is naked and that is very inappropriate so make sure you always clothe your pastries and let's get started. So we're going to get started with the cracklin first, which might literally be the easiest thing you have ever made. All you need to do is place 85 grams or six tablespoons of butter and 100 grams or half a cup of turbinado sugar in a mixer and paddle that until it's smooth. Once it's smooth, add in 100 grams or three quarters cup of sifted flour and mix that just until it combines. Then take your dough off the mixer and begin to roll it out between two pieces of parchment paper and place that in the freezer for a few minutes to set up so that we're able to cut it out. And it's so thin that this literally will only take a few minutes. So once it sets up, cut little rings out of the dough and just place that back in the freezer until we're ready to use it. And let's get started on our pata choux. For the choux, we're going to place 75 grams or a quarter cup of milk, 75 grams or a quarter cup of water, 130 grams or nine tablespoons of butter, two grams or one teaspoon of salt, and two grams or one teaspoon of sugar all in a pot and bring that to a boil. Once it boils, we're going to add 130 grams or one cup of sifted flour and combine that well. Now we're gonna cook this mixture for a few minutes just to dry out a touch of moisture in this dough. You'll know it's cooked when you get a thin film of dough on the base of your pot like so. Then we're going to transfer this into a mixer fitted with a paddle attachment and begin adding 250 grams or five large eggs one at a time. It's very crucial that you add the eggs in one by one because that's how we're gonna really properly integrate the eggs into this dough that we technically cooked once already. It's really important that we properly merge those eggs into that dough. And the best way to do this is by adding them in one at a time and allowing the egg to fully incorporate after each addition. And once you add that last egg in, let it mix for about five minutes and your dough should be stretchy and shiny, but still appear moist. Now I'm going to place this into a piping bag and begin piping circles onto my sill pad, which is a nonstick silicone baking mat. This one has markings on it for macaroons, but I'm just going to ignore those because they're too close together. And if I were to follow that guide, my cream puffs would touch in the oven. But whatever, that's not the point. If you don't have a sill pad, parchment paper will give you the same exact effect. Now I'm going to pull our cracklin out of the freezer and place that right over our shoe and bake these at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Once you put these in the oven, just forget about them until the smell starts to fill the room because the way that pata shoe rises is due to the steam from the moisture in the dough. And once you open that oven, all of that steam is going to escape and your cream puffs will collapse. So don't open your oven. You'll know that your shoe is ready when it's golden brown and nice and puffy. And while our shoe cool, let's make our pumpkin cheesecake filling. We are going to start by whipping 125 grams or half a cup of cream to medium peaks and set that aside. In a mixer, we're going to paddle 162 grams or three quarters cup of cream cheese, 30 grams or half a cup of powdered sugar, and 100 grams or half a cup of pumpkin puree until smooth. For this batch, I ended up using whipped cream cheese because that's what I had already, but if you're going to use a regular block of cream cheese, paddle the cream cheese and the sugar first, and once that is smooth, add in your pumpkin puree. If you add them all in at once and they're different textures, it's gonna take a little bit longer for it to all blend together. And also, when I say pumpkin puree, I mean Libby's canned pumpkin. I have done extensive side-by-side -side taste tests and comparisons, and Libby's is by far the best and the highest quality that you can buy. It's really creamy, full of pumpkin flavor. The consistency is perfect for baking and the product itself is just super consistent. So I recommend that you get Libby's and probably get it now because it always sells out this time of year. And I'm not sponsored to say this, like obviously I'm not sponsored. I have like 17 subscribers. Anyway, 
Once your mixture is smooth, we're going to begin folding in our whipped cream and the cheesecake is done and literally so, so, so good. This recipe is so simple and such a staple. If you want to have like a no-bake cheesecake recipe, this is it. So before we start filling our pata choux, you want to make sure that they are completely cool which is difficult yet crucial. You can fill these by poking a hole in the base and injecting the filling inside. You wanna make sure that you're really shooting that filling up in there and your shoe should be noticeably weighted. But I like my cream to shoe ratio to be like three to one. So I'm gonna cut these horizontally and pipe as much cream as this little shoe can take and we are all done. today's recipe these are honestly the most perfect fall festive little treat they make perfect hors d'oeuvres and they freeze gorgeously just fill them all stick them in the freezer and let them defrost whenever you want a little festive treat and honestly you just need to try them so thank you so much for working on your winter body with me and don't forget to comment below some of your favorite fall treats and i will see you next time with a new meal plan Bye. Mm -hmm. mm. Smash the like and subscribe button and comment down below of what you want me to do.